Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Battalion Wars Revisited. Last time, we helped the Solar Empire free some of its troops to take out Exo main positions on Coconut Island, and surprisingly got an S rank on that, even though we suffered a lot of casualties in that mission. Oh well. Anyways, next mission that we're going to be taking part in is actually my all-time favorite mission in the game, Call Sign Eagle, so let's go! Aloha Atoll is a strategic key to the whole Coral Archipelago. Our ground forces will take command here while you provide air cover. Keep Exovanian reinforcements at bay until the flag is ours. Good morning, Commander, and welcome to Operation Neptune. You're just in time for the briefing. General Herman is about to lead a battalion of hand-picked men on a ground assault of the Aloha Atoll. Your job is to provide Herman's men with air support as they recapture the island on behalf of our sole allies. Herman's men will assault the beach, then follow the road to the Exylvanian base. During this time, you will need to provide air cover against all credible threats. Good luck, Commander. Are you attempting to take me by surprise, my frontier foes? You should know by now that I can predict your every move. Exylvanian transport copters are delivering reinforcement to the island. Shoot them down before they can land. Alright, so starting this mission off, we gotta take out these transports before they can drop off the troops. It's really hard, but not impossible to take out all four of the transport copters. Usually I'm only able to get three. Reinforcing the garrison. But, you're able to accomplish that. So they don't have as much defense as they did before. My boys are about ready to get their feet wet. How are things holding together at Strategic Air Command? Bring them on. We won't let you down, Buffalo Two. Quickly, Commander. Use your fighters to clear the skies of Exylvanian bombers. Yes, sir. All right, here they come. So this level, it's a little compact, but it's honestly one of my favorites because of its uniqueness. We don't have access to any of the ground forces in this game. This is a purely air unit uh, focused mission. We got a squadron of fighters with us, and if we complete each uh, Silver Star objective, then that will grant us a new air unit to help push the campaign. Right now, we got to take out the bombers so that they don't harass Herman's troops, and then help them push up to the beachhead right here, and then up the road up here to the gunships. Head over here, into the base, capture the base, and the mission is over. One thing I want to note, which I always found hilarious, is uh, the gunship pilots that are trapped in here. The gunships are right here inside the capture zone. The pilots are located inside the capture zone with their gunships, so I honestly don't know what is stopping them from just getting on board, flying right out of there, and not being POWs anymore. Yeah, you could argue that the watchtower over there is watching over them and making sure they don't get to their gunships, but I feel like if they were fast enough, they could easily get out of there. Plus, watchtowers don't even do much, or if anything, to air units, so it's not like they'd be uh, worried about uh, getting shot down. Speaking of shot down, bomber number one has been thankfully shot down. Let's get bomber number two real quick. You want to uh, be very careful for this. Exovian fighters are relentless in this mission. They will hound your air units non-stop throughout it, so you want to make sure you send your fighters to attack them as much as possible. I also grab the jerry cans uh, if you have a nice chance. Work, Eagle One. My boys have secured the beach and are now headed to their designated capture points. Right, let's grab our bombers now. Good job, Commander. I'm deploying some frontier bombers to provide additional support. All right, Fire. let's take out the artillery. Unleash an artillery barrage that will drive the enemy back into the sea. Right, Looks like bomber. those bombers arrived just in time. Use them to take out that Exylvanian artillery. Ooh, that death gurgle. Oh, 
Let's also get these MG nests as well, so it doesn't harass the troops too much. We got Exylvania tanks up ahead. Where's that air support, Eagle One? Working on it. You heard the man, Commander. Neutralize those tanks from above. I was say they're going to intercept the uh, Hermit's troop. Oh, no, they're just patrolling back here. So, one good bombing run, and... Not enough to take out both tanks, unfortunately. So, let's get a couple of tank busters uh, freed. I think the gunship... Yep, there they are. Frontier gunships are back in play, Commander. Use them to clear the road of Exylvanian MG nets. All right. While the bombers uh, focus on over there, we'll keep the gunships to ourselves, and we'll move up to help take out the MG nets as well as the artillery stationed up here. You actually do want to be pretty fast in taking out these positions because, as you can see, uh, the ground forces are doing a pretty good job of cleaning up down there. So, they actually move pretty fast in this mission. Oh boy. Wow, he actually managed to hit me with that artillery shell. That's actually kind of impressive. Let me grab that jerry can. There we go. Yeah, we just lost another fighter. If we do lose all our fighters, thankfully, there is, like, a second wave uh, on standby that'll reinforce it. But, however, you only get, like, two waves of fighters throughout this entire campaign mission. So, don't ignore your fighter losses, is what I'm saying. Take out the rest of the MG nests over here. I can already see the ground forces rounding the bend over there, so it looks like we just cleared this out just in time, and so far, it doesn't look like the ground forces have suffered any casualties, which is honestly kind of surprising. Oh, uh, wait, why is there... No, I guess they're just holding the position down there. Alright, whatever. I'm actually kind of curious to see what those guys are doing over there. Are they just holding position, or did they get stuck? Yeah, they're just holding position. Eagle One, my boys have eyes on the primary objective. Stay sharp. Oh, nope, there they go. <laughs> they just need a little bit of motivation. No need for concern, Buffalo Two. Frontier Command has deployed a strato destroyer for your protection. Eagle One, my boys are reporting additional Exylvania transport copters inbound. Copy that, Buffalo 2. Looks like Vlad is attempting to reinforce the Exylvanian garrison. Commander, I suggest you find those T-copters and bring them down. Yes, sir. And we've they've My already men have landed. The first capture point. Only oh wait, no, that's the that's the capture points. Never mind. Uh where's the T-copters? That's fighter. Okay, they're coming in from the where, where those grunts were. It's also a good thing that I have my strato here because we just lost our last fighter. The strato destroyer is a rough unit to play with. I will have to admit, it controls like garbage. It, it's very stiff in its controls. It's got very wide turning arcs. It's not a very fun unit to turn around with, and it's actually a lore reason as to why this thing controls so badly. However, it does do uh, a lot of damage to air units as well as doubles as a bomber, so, you know, always good to have. Let's keep our strato at bay for now and just use the gunships to take out the ground forces that are getting sent in. Can't let anything bad happen to my voice now, can I? Okay, we could really use that fighter reinforcement right about now. Also, why is the strato all the way out here? Getting harassed by a fighter, that's why. Two plus one makes three, Colonel Austin. I'd say this island belongs to the frontier. 
Only until we return it to our Solar Empire allies, General Herman. Are we just lose a unit? I don't think so. Without saying, Colonel, what do you think I am? Some kind of war-hungry maniac with delusions? Ah, oh, there's the fighter support. The thought had crossed my mind, General. The thought had crossed my mind. I have one more card to play. Okay, this guy's getting a little okay, crowded for my you, liking. It is the Ace of Spades. What the blazes, Commander? We've got an Exophanian Strato Destroyer incoming. This skirmish just escalated to the next level. It's a good thing I got got her own. Another if Strato I can just destroyer? line up a good Looks shot. Like Kaiser Vlad doesn't take kindly to defeat. The master tactician always holds a little something in reserve. Yeah, well, our fighter's good, doing a good job of taking him care of it. Austin. Quickly, Commander. Take direct control of our Strato him? Destroyer and engage yep, the enemy. Nope, not the grunt that's dying. Take care of the other Strato. Come on, we're almost there. Almost there. Man, I wish I could fly at that altitude. That'd be great. Ah, oh, well, he's dead anyways. This day belongs to you, generals of the Western Frontier. But this is a global conflict, and the balance of power can shift at any moment. Beware. I think we lost the rest of the Air Force as well. Man. I think we lost all our we gunships on our... No, I think the bomber's right behind. Yeah, we lo still have them all alive. Thank God, because I'm dreading seeing what this uh, total's going to be for technique. Wow. Full power, full speed, and almost got 100% on everything. That is honestly impressive. I've almost never been able to do well in terms of technique for this, but we only got a 98% on it. Only because we lost that first fighter squadron. I'll take it. A nice uh, high score for one of my all-time favorite missions in a game. And also, a new unit for the dossier, the Strato Destroyer. It has a crew of 7, a speed rating of 3, a weapons rating of 7, and an armor rating of 5. Its role is air-to-air, air-to-ground, but it's vulnerable to the rear. The B-5000 Strato Destroyer is the king of the sky, armed with both air-to-air -air missiles and the ability to deliver a heavy contingent of high-explosive bombs, there is no chink in its thick armor. Its only weak point is its lack of rear-facing armaments, but it's got, like, what? It's got a top gunner, it's got a tail gunner... So yeah, it's still, well, it doesn't have the best, like, rear defense, it's still got a decent rear defense. Alright, next time on Battalion Wars Revisited, it's time for us to go and help the Solar Empire again with the guns of Tiki Bay. A very chaotic mission, if I do say so myself. See you guys next time. Later.